There's a lot of things that are happening, and I think a lot of people need to just be conduit of information. And people are just not trying to do it anymore. They're just working on the convenience of it. And that is bad. Because when you relinquish your ability to discern incoming information, you're giving up your responsibility to live. So you're not trying to experience it anymore, you just want it set in front of you. And just like, okay, cool, here it is, and you consume it. It's cool, but you're not been living. Hi. Hi. Would you be willing to talk a little bit about, you said that your tent was flooded. How are, how are things going at camp with the weather and... The weather is driving a lot of people out. Everybody's still really dedicated, but they're not willing to get sick for the cause. Mm. Um, I got sick, but I came back. Mm -hmm. And I will be here for the next 60 days. Mm -hmm. I'll be here indefinitely. Yeah. People I'm working with right now, this is a public space. People are able to define it as it is public space. We just happen to now got so fed up, we don't have anywhere to live. Mm -hmm. They say occupy, occupy here, there, there. When really we've been just occupying, it's the definition. Occupying is changing. Occupation, a job. Mm -hmm. Only way you're going to lend yourself to the job is if you're educated. Mm. If people can trust that you know what you're doing. Being on the same page and essentially that's communication. Don't don't let the don't let the immensity of the problem you know, hold you back. Let what you understand guide you and be willing to take in more information so you know a more defined terrain that you're crossing. I have a no good taste by any means necessary. I'm going to stay. Well, well, well said. Beautiful. Well said. Good. Good. Well, let's get you Let's get you out of the way. So, uh, you're occupying Detroit as well. How many days have you been out here? Here since day one. So my name is Tony Hyde. Uh, I'm Charlie. I'm the trombone player. I'm the trombone player. Do you have the trombone? Uh, this guy tried to attack me the other night and he got damaged. So that doesn't work for you? Tony, tell me why you're here and what is it that you want to accomplish? What would make you, Tony, feel happy that you've accomplished something and that you would consider leaving Occupy Detroit? Number one, uh, uh, actually that every homeless person does not have to sleep out here. Uh, I lost a close friend named Linda and uh, people at St. Al's, which had a warming center right here in Washington, all knew her. She all, she used to live on the street, but obviously there was something inside the system uh, in one of the shelters that made her not want to go back to the shelter. So my ambition is, is just to end homelessness because uh, all, so what, all of these people... Tony, how do you do it? I agree with you. We should end the homelessness. How can you do that? And what does this do to further the cause to end homelessness? The, the, number one, this Occupy Detroit has done more in five days than a lot of these so-called surplus places or, or resource places have done in the past year since I've been here. They have done more in five days. So it's just the awareness, just being here. It's the awareness is is the love that the occupation give to the people. Do you think you got number it? one is is that who's ever in place to serve the consumers, which we are the consumers or, or the public, has to have a good attitude. Do you, you have just a good attitude? I have a good attitude, but the people who are are in place to serve the homeless does not have all of them do not have a, a good serving the homeless. People with pleasant attitudes. People that don't bring home onto the front. Well, I have a pleasant attitude. Should I be serving the homeless? You should. What should I do to serve the homeless? You want to live with me? I wouldn't mind. At least it would it would bring me out of the cold. I slept out I slept out here every day last year. Look in the medical tent here? Yes. Could I, could I talk to you for a minute? Sure. Uh, uh, come in your, your, uh, yeah, absolutely. your facility? This is me, man. Don't do that. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. How are you doing? Are you, are you a patient? No, sir. Oh, I can actually help with the medical staff also. Oh. <laughs> Is there a patient here that, uh, no, not any, no one's sick, no one's sick? Uh, we, 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 yeah, we are sick. 
So you think it's higher? Do you have the medical of this and both together? No, I don't have it. No, I mean, I'm going to go to you. Can we talk to you about that? Sure. Alright, let's do it. Is there a... Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't get medical. Let's stop you off here. Yeah, you got some nice stuff. 